It's time to go around the Oval, and the Meadowlands was the place to be on Saturday for not only the Hamiltonian, but its female counterpart, the $750,000 Hamiltonian Oaks. And with that information and a big upset, here's Shannon. Great, thanks, Steve. Now remember, Brian Sayers swept the three eliminations with Lantern Chrono Stage Show and Creamy Mimi. He chose to drive Lantern Chronos here in the final. Who was sent off the post time favorite? Stage Show second choice picks up John Campbell and No Pain No Gain third choice with Dave Miller. Here's the call. Diana Hall says, "Catch me if you can." Creamy Mimi in the whip up there with Andy Miller in the second spot. Swarza stays in third. Here comes Dave Miller with No Pain No Gain and shows some gain. Fourth now, third on the outside. Stage Show is. Fifth and getting underway. So, Lantern Chrono sixth and third over at this point. Then it's Celebrity Tribute who saves ground, followed by two nights with her, one tough lass, and on a gallop, on a break, Prada Hall. The half a rated 56 and three, so a 29 second breather for Diana Hall. No pain, no gain now on the outside. A tough first over grind for her. Creamy Mimi, a perfect trip, but locked in the box as they approach three quarters. Campbell setting up stage show from second over. Swarsa needs racing room. Lantern Kronos stacks to the outside, goes three high with stage show as they turn home. And Swarsa looks for room. She has trot 125 and three into the stretch of the Hamiltonian Oaks. And it's Diana Hall trying to go all the way. Not today. Creamy Mimi, a perfect trip for Andy Miller. Rocking, whipping, driving. Stage show on the proud side. Lantern Kronos, Creamy Mimi. And the day of upsets continues. It's Creamy Mimi. And the Orange Crush does it in the Oaks. Perfect pocket trip here. Andy Miller, the Orange Crush, gets it done at 12 to 1 on Creamy Mimi. Second, Lantern, Kronos, and Brian Sears. Third, Stage Show, and John Campbell, 153 and 4. New lifetime best for Creamy Mimi. And how about the U.S. Basin Championships, also contested at the Meadowlands? Mr. Big, an artistic fella, got it on again. This may be one of the greatest rivalries I've ever seen in the equine sport. These guys go hammer and tongue every single week. And let's have a look at the stretch drive. Mr. Big and artistic fella topping the U.S. Pacing Championship this past Saturday at the Meadowlands. Artistic fella trying to go all the way. One, 21 and four. Artistic fella and Mr. Big on the outside. And the two Titans square off here in the U.S. Pacing Championship. And Mr. Big is huge first over. And Sears asking for more. Artistic fella digging in for all he's worth. Mr. Big getting to him. Mr. Big is huge. Mr. Big again. Another classic competition two. between two great pacing champions. Mr. Big once again gets up in the final strides to defeat Artistic Fella, who is game as always on the rail. In a scorching 148 and 2, My Panmar came along for a nondescript third. What an action packed week of harness racing action, but the action is nowhere near done, as Shannon will tell you. Now you've got to come see us next Sunday, August 17th, Super Stakes Sunday. Two half million dollar races, the Battle of Brandywine and the Colonial, and a $350,000 race for three year old pacing fillies. That's the Valley Forge. Coming up next Sunday. So, for Shannon DiAntonio, I'm Steve Ross, reminding you it doesn't cost anything to be nice. Until next week, see you. Take care. Bye.